few gasifiers can handle high ash fuel. It can be utilized by complex and material-intensive fluidized bed, rotary, and cyclone gasifiers all of which have their limitations. Recently, I came across a rare patent granted in 1961. Three of its authors were experts in gasification and proposed their version of a gasifier for high ash fuel with a lower fuel auger feeder. I have seen such a working device in Europe only once. It worked very well. I also saw a differently designed Russian gasifier with an auger feeder. The fuel was fed from its bottom and burned on the top. I was interested in this 1961 patent. It outlines the experience of engineers who openly say that they know such working prototypes and propose to improve them. For myself, I will say that this is the first time I see this type of gasifier in Soviet sources. I don't know why is this. Maybe the lack of descriptions of such gasifiers in the USSR falls on the 1950s to 1960s when gasifiers were already abandoned. Books and magazines no longer published articles about them. I also could not find any articles in specialized magazines. Therefore, the 1961 patent is a rare and very interesting work. Let's examine it in detail. The gasifier consists of shaft 1, lined with refractory brick 2, and outer metal cladding 3. The main auger 4 is located at the bottom of the gasifier along its axis. It moves the fuel in the gasifier shaft from bottom to top. Auger feeders 6 feed fuel to hopper 5. There may be one or several auger feeders 6 depending on the gasifier shaft diameter. The ash is discharged from the upper part of the gasifier by scraper conveyor 7. There is a funnel with two cones 8 at its end. This is how compartments were sealed in the past. Now a knife gate can be used. I designed such gates to avoid locking if ash gets blocked at the edge. Air enters the gasifier through tap 9. The gas comes out through grate 10 which is shaped according to the inner shaft dimension and goes further outside through pipe 11. The main auger feeds the fuel from below, occasionally lifting it. These movements disintegrate the ash layer with unburned carbon particles enveloping the fuel allowing to reduce the amount of carryover in the ash. The ash moves from right to left in the upper part of the gasifier. The air flows from left to right. It is designed intentionally to burn the remaining carbon in the hot ash and to preheat the air. The scraper conveyor is designed to be long enough to free the ash from unburned carbon and completely transfer physical heat from ash to the air. As far as I understand, the feature of this patent is the bottom fuel auger. It has blades that are half the length of the auger pitch. This allows the fuel to move and loosen the layer. My WhatsApp is in the description under the video. And now drop me a couple of coins for a beer. You will find my payment details in the description below. I am waiting. See you.